he himself can decrypt the file and only he can decrypt this file which means that uh, irreversible does not even allow the owner of the source code to decrypt the file when you click on regular it will allow only the uh, developer who has developed the file to decrypt it if you want to provide a trial mode you can give the trial duration of 10 days to your customer you can say authorization required uh, denial loading in educational mode right now we do not have any customer so we click on manage customers add a new customer the customer name is say Ratna serial number we will just take the serial number of the tally that we have here it's 7200 7200 3186 customer email id if you want to add a, a group you can add that and you say add customer right now we do not have any group hence uh, this under a new other customers you can group multiple serial numbers now for example there is a customer a he has purchased five tally licenses you can create a group of his company and add each of its serial number to the group now you can click on save if you click on group all the serial numbers in the group will get checked for compilation or if you want you can select the individual serial number also now note this the file name the author details the version details enable for trial mode authorization required deny loading in educational mode selected for the customer serial number save and build now in the in the build tab you will see the details build building the project first it will do the compilation of the project if any error will be provided if no error it will build the project project gets built successfully the output file is available in the path with the extension .tcp the minimum tally version that it can be used is tally erp9 series a release 1.0 which clearly makes you understand that you that of that you cannot develop a file for customers lower than this particular version the tcp format is regular in education in case the customer's tally is in education mode the tcp will not get loaded yes there's a trial mode and from 10 days from today it will be 20th march 2015 so after this particular date the tcp will stop working authorization required yes and it will work for only this particular serial number so let us just quit tally go to tally application open it and we will just attach the tcp file that we have here in slash and hello tcp So we have this hello tcp home copy in tally f12 product and features f4 provide your file name accept now you can see the name of your project has been mentioned here with its version and release the one which we had mentioned here let me just show you the project properties once again right click properties the name of the product and the version and when you go to this product you press shift enter 
it gives the author name this is the author name the developer name and its mobile number and the format is TCP right and when you come to gateway of tally the file has been added now we'll do one thing we'll just remove the license to show you how it works here so we will just uh, change the license uh, multi-user local host local host uh, 5009 right so we do not have a license here so working in educational mode you see here one tds license fail when we see here it is red mark and you It is a local TDL but it is red mark and you can click on add extensions if you need any extensions right now no extensions are available everything you can press F12 and you can configure show author details your product identities additional details everything expiry is on 30th of March but uh, refuse to get notice it is not loaded right so license is very important licensing configure single user and the moment we get the license you know the TDL is loaded so this is how it is loaded right there's an overview of dictionary manager as informed earlier we have a separate recorded session for this dictionary manager tool please do uh, refer to that uh, recorded session for details on dictionary manager now coming to the important aspect of TDL so this is what we, uh, what we could uh, talk about the product uh, definitely there is more to the product so as in when you use the product you will get more ideas on how to use the product now coming back to the tdl components so the tdl component consists of definitions attributes modifiers data types operators symbols and prefixes and functions definitions Thali definition language or TDL is non procedural programming language based on definitions this is what we had discussed earlier TDL works on named definitions which we have seen in one of our hello TDL the biggest advantage of working with TDL is its reusability of definitions all the definitions are reusable by themselves and can be a part of other definitions whenever a change is there in the code whenever a change is in the code needs to be reflected in the program tally erp9 can be restarted or you can go and refresh the tdl the syntax is very simple open square bracket definition type colon the definition name so all the definitions start with an open square bracket and ends with a closed square bracket definition type is the name of a predefined definition types list available in the platform as we could see we have the collection, menu, report, form, part, line, field, button, table. All this is predefined. And how did we know all this? Very simple. Here we can do square bracket, control space bar. And this is a list of definition types that we have in our default. Right? And the definition name is the developer defined depending whether it is a new definition or it is a 
existing definition 